We have two very special trucks here. 2007 Toyota Tundra with a TRD supercharger for over 500 horsepower. And of course, we have our 2014 Ford Raptor. We're gonna put these two trucks up against each other in a zero to 60, a drag race, and also a highway MPG loop. I'm heading out on the 98 mile highway MPG loop in the supercharged Tundra. Brian is behind me in the Raptor, so we're testing both trucks at the same time. Our test procedure is the same as always. It's a loop. Uh, we go about 49 miles one way and 49 another and we run the test at 70 miles an hour using cruise control. There's a slight touch of a supercharger wind. Now this is a roots type supercharger. There are two screws that turn from the pulley from the engine and basically force more air in for more power. But this uh, supercharger is engineered as a package, TRD, modifies the fuel delivery system and the air delivery system with a new air filter to get more fuel and air into the engine. And it comes with a warranty. And thankfully, this particular truck is on sale. You can go to the Blue Star Auto Group website and buy this truck. Now this is a little bittersweet. Toyota discontinued the supercharger in the Tundra in June of 2015. But this engine is rated at over 500 horsepower and over 550 pound-feet of torque. It's hooked up to a six-speed automatic transmission, and this is a four x four. It should be one of the fastest trucks we've ever tested. I'm very excited. You have to be gentle with it because it has a lot of power, and you want it to hook up properly. Okay, I think it was a slightly better hookup. It is the quickest truck we've ever tested. 6.6 .6 seconds. The quickest truck ever at a mile above sea level. Wow, nice job, supercharged Tundra. Take a look at this engine bay. You know we really use the Raptor off-road. This is a 6.2 liter V8, good for 411 horsepower and 434 pound-feet of torque. It's also hooked up to a six-speed automatic transmission. 0-16 2014 Ford Raptor, traction control off, two-wheel drive. This is the way we do all of our 0-60s. to Here we go. Okay, good hookup. There wasn't much wheel spin. The V8 sounds really good. And the result is 8.91. 8.91. Hey guys, I'm in the Ford Raptor and we just turned around so we're past the halfway point of our 100 mile test loop. And so far the truck's computer says we're getting around 19 mpg, which is pretty impressive, uh, especially considering the EPA rates this truck on the highway at 16 mpg. So Andre said the cabin of the Tundra with the supercharger is actually really quiet at highway speed, so we're going to compare the decibel levels. Let me turn on the meter here and set it to capture the max decibel. Yeah, it's about 71 and a half. Now this is showing 67.6 decibels at 70 miles an hour on the highway, which is actually really quiet. Okay, we're getting off the highway now, and the truck's computer says that we achieved 18.2 mpg and that we used 5.3 gallons of, of gas. So let's see how the pump uh, compares to those numbers. It's a comfortable truck on the highway. Let's get the number. Check it out, the cap actually says 
premium fuel only. This could actually be really good result. 98 divided by 5.493. Are you ready, Brian? I'm ready. 17.8. Okay. So EPA rates this truck at 17 on the highway, and we just bested EPA with over 500 horsepower. Okay, so it looks like this might be a really close competition between the, um, the Raptor and that supercharged Tundra. Based on the numbers that the computer's saying for the Raptor, Okay, so 98 divided by 5.496, yeah, right? Yes. What do we got? We got the exact Seven, <laughs> Wait, 17.83 and what was? 84. 17.84. <laughs> wow. They're tied? Well, uh, How is that it, possible? It's all, I don't know. I'm shocked. I really am. I did not expect this result. I cannot believe how close this is. The two trucks did a, basically an identical MPG, right? Yeah, like down to the second decimal point. So I think we have to say they're the same. Absolutely the same. 17.8 in both trucks. Yep. And this 2007 Tundra supercharged is, uh, what are they asking for it? $30,000. $30,000. And it's in really good condition. I don't feel like I'm in a nine-year-old truck here. It's 86,000 miles. Pretty relatively low. Low mileage. Um, actually, I'm liking. I'm beginning to like this truck a lot. You think you're gonna maybe, buy it? Maybe I need to make them an offer. Well, you know, Roman's been talking about getting a new shop truck for TFL. I think he's been thinking, literally new, but maybe we can get him to go the other way. All right, let's talk to him about okay. it. Okay. I'm in a 2007 Tundra with a 5.7 liter V8 supercharged, and I'm gonna put it up against Andre and the 2014. Ford Raptor in a drag race. Is there any way I can beat this Tundra when the Tundra hooks up? It just goes. Two, three, go! Oh, I'm kicking his butt. It's not even close. It was neck and neck, and then he pulled away. Uh, for the Fastlane truck, this is Andrei Smirnov. And Brian Waring. And come back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world reviews and MPG tests and supercharged Tundra tests and, as well. And more old truck reviews. Absolutely, you've asked us for this, so we're trying to do more cool old trucks, right? Here's the question. Which one would you buy? A used Raptor versus a used Tundra supercharged? Yes. <sighs> if they were identically priced... Um, you know, I like how stealth this truck is. It's very quiet. From the um, exterior, you cannot tell it's been supercharged in any way. And it's quick. It's the fastest truck we've ever tested. It's so quick. 6.6 .6 seconds. I think I'll pick this truck. How about you? I think I'd have to go with this truck as well. The Raptor has that off-road ability that this truck doesn't have, yeah. but for everyday driving, I gotta give it to this truck. Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Truck with my buddy. Andre Smirnoff. And we have a very special episode for you. That's right, we've tested over a dozen trucks on our highway loop, 100 miles with the trailer, and we wanted to give you the top three most efficient trucks when towing. That's right, and as a bonus on top of that, the top two trucks when not towing, and that's coming up next.